Hello everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. It has been some time since my last post video. This is because recently I'm tasked to conduct a course for adult learner on LP WAN and also EMC consideration. Hence, most of our time, that's it. Also recently, I'm also tasked to take over a module okay, which for beginner on communication system. So therefore, today our topic for discussion is on introduction of communication system. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Firstly, let's understand what is communication system. Okay, communication system is a transfer of information between two or more points. Okay, imagine okay, you write a letter and you send this letter to your friend. So you are actually the sender and your friend is actually the recipient. In a communication system, a sender is actually a transmitter and a recipient is actually a receiver. Next, okay, how is communication being carried out? Okay, the simplest form of communication is face-to-face, -face, as you can see from this diagram. How can we establish a long-distance communication? Okay, in the past, okay, remember those ancient walls that we look, okay, we actually use smoke okay, to send our signal. We also use fire. Okay, for example, over here, you can see that a signal is actually sent. We also can send a signal via long distance by the drum beat, also by waving the different color flag indicate whether you're supposed to attack or defend. Okay, we also know that pigeon can actually help to carry our letter from one place to another place. So these are all the forms that can establish communication in a long distance in the very old day. In today's world, okay, information transfer is done electrically okay which means that we need to establish electronic communication system what are the elements of electronics communication system okay there are actually three elements in a uh, electronic communication system the first one is the transmitter transmitter is a collection of electronic device or circuits that converts the original source information also known as baseband signal okay, they have various names baseband signal intelligent signal modulating signal so they actually need to form a suitable for transmission next will be communication channel or medium okay the channel is the medium by which the electronic signal is sent or propagate from one place to another place Okay, it provides a means of transporting signal between transmitter and receiver. So from here, you know that the last element is actually the receiver. So the communication channel is actually the link between transmitter and receiver. The receiver task is, is a collection of electronic device and circuit that accepts and transmits signal from the transmission medium and then convert those signal back to their original form, which is understand by human. Okay, so this is the elements of electronic communication system. Firstly, okay, the source of information is from the transmitter. So from here, you know that they actually convert the signal to a form that is suitable to be carried by the communication channel or the medium. When the signal actually propagate the communication medium, okay, it actually reach the receiver. The receiver task is to convert whatever form that is propagated in the communication medium to a form that is recognized by human. Okay, so this is some idea what are the three elements of electronic communication system. Next, okay, the communication channel or medium, the medium by which the electronic signal is sent from one place to another, okay, which I have illustrated earlier on. There are actually three major communication channel one is a transmission line 
which is a cable or a wire, they basically carry information in the form of electrical current. Okay, so electrical current move from one place to another place. Okay, so this is how we transfer the data from transmitter to receiver. Another type is the optical fiber, a fine piece of glass that carry the information in the form of light signal. So you can see from this diagram here, the glass actually help to reflect the light in order to transmit the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. Last but not least, wireless. I guess most of the communication channel now is wireless. The medium is the air itself. For example, radio broadcast, TV broadcast, even your cellular, they are all communicate in a wireless. Okay, so next, let's quickly understand the different form of communication channel. For example, okay, this is a transmission line or a cable, or sometimes we also call a wire. So they actually transmit by sending an electrical current from the transmitter to the receiver. Okay, you don't need to transform the signal at all. If in between the transmitter and receiver is an optical fiber, then inside the transmitter, we have a part that help to convert the electrical signal to light. Okay, because light is only able to propagate in the communication channel for optical fiber. After the receiver receive the light signal from the transmitter, they actually convert the light signal to electrical signal so that this signal will be able to understand by us. Next, okay, this is what I mentioned earlier on. This is the in part. Okay, nowadays, most of the communication channel happen through the air. This is a transmitter. They actually generate electrical signal. So after propagate through the antenna, the antenna actually convert the electrical signal to EM wave. Only EM wave is capable to transmit in the air. So after they convert to EM wave, the EM wave will be propagate in the air. Finally, it land onto the receiver antenna. The receiver antenna convert the electrical magnetic wave to electrical signal. And therefore, this signal is the original signal that is actually sent by the transmitter. Okay, let's quickly look through this diagram here. So this is a transmission medium. For example, when we want to send through air, we know that okay, we need to convert the transmitter signal to a radio wave or EM wave before the signal can be propagated onto the transmission medium. Next will be cable. Cable, we do not need to convert the signal. Basically, we just send the electrical signal from the transmitter to the receiver. Next will be optical fiber. For optical fiber, we need to convert the electrical signal to a light pulse. Okay, because light is the only source that can be propagated on the optical fiber. This is some form of communication system. For example, we want to send the audio we want to send a video or we want to send the data to the receiver that is on the right. So we put all our information onto a transmitter. Okay, so when we put onto the transmitter, remember we can convert them into a form that is suitable to be carried over by the transmission medium, be it the cable, optical fiber or air, we convert them accordingly. So after that, we are ready to propagate the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. So after the receiver receives the signal from the transmission medium, they actually convert to a form that is understand by us. For example, it convert to a music for us to listen, a TV program, and also the data from the transmitter. With this, I like to stop our discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.